I mean, honestly, I'm just like you. I completely love that time I got reincarnated as a slime, but that doesn't change the fact that I did find one big mistake while watching season two. Now I'm not here to discredit our favorite slimy boy or anything like that, because it's easily one of my favorite isekai. That being said though, I found the final episode, more specifically the Rimuru vs. Clayman fight, to be very lackluster. Let's back up a bit to grab some context, because Rimuru obtained the Demon Lord seed way back in episode 12. Did I seriously just read a number wrong? Way back in episode 14 by defeating the Orc Lord. We then get 21 episodes of Rimuru expanding Tempest, resulting in him becoming a Demon Lord so that he can resurrect his allies. The now Demon Lord Rimuru then spends 11 more episodes preparing for Walpurgis, where he is finally able to confront Clayman, which then leads us to the epic one and a half episode long fight between their subordinates. This means that there is essentially a 35 episode buildup to Rimuru becoming a true Demon Lord and confronting Clayman, for it to all conclude within a measly four minute long fight. Some of you are probably saying, It's epic because Rimuru killed him in four minutes. Like, you're definitely not wrong, but all he did was punch the guy a couple of times. Well, that's what the anime made it seem like at least. However, you'll find much more depth if you look below the surface. The anime actually gave us two hints which point towards why this battle stands out from the rest. First off, we have the scene where Gi mentions that Rimuru is using the skill Thought Acceleration, whatever that is. This is then followed by the scene where Rimuru tells Clayman that this brief moment is going to feel like an eternity. You see, the anime's big mistake is that it never actually explained what Thought Acceleration does, and because of this, you probably didn't realize that when Rimuru said, This brief moment is going to feel like an eternity, that he wasn't speaking metaphorically. You could read the light novel to find out what Thought Acceleration does, however a quick wiki search will tell us everything we need to know. Thought Acceleration is a sub-skill under the master skill Raphael, and to quote the site, it raises thought processing speed by one million times. So thought acceleration essentially takes one literal second and makes it feel like the equivalent of 11 and a half days worth of time. And now that we're all on the same page, let's take another look at Rimuru beating up his punching bag. <laughs> Those three quick punches would have felt like 46 days worth of non-stop pain to Clayman. Though let's not stop mathing there because he got hit a lot more than three times during this fight. And after a very rough and quick estimation, I would say that Clayman felt at least 276 days worth of excruciating non-stop pain. Now wouldn't you say that knowing this makes the final episode pack a bit more of a punch than it did before? However, it also makes me wonder how many other important details like this that the anime chose to skim over or just leave out entirely. If you learned anything new, or at least found this short video entertaining, then please hit that like button. And lastly, a big shout out to my newest patron, Ikaya Fuwafuwaseyo. I'm sure I butchered that.